I did some consulting on this pond last year. I had some weed issues. Looks like they did some dredging down here as well. You can see how the they planted grass. That's one clue. But last year the, the pond looked much different. There's some trees in here and uh, the pond was much shallower on this end. It looks like they did some digging. This is the shallow end of the lake over here where the creek comes in. Uh, so it looks like they took a long reach backhoe and reached out, pulled that back up, kind of used that dirt to fill this, this part of the bank back in. See, what we've got here is uh, some dredging work. They had this dug, they had it pulled back with a backhoe uh, deep in the pond. They did a pretty good job. You see how I'm gonna swing the camera around here. You see how the bank gets real steep right here? Um, I'd like to have seen them go a little deeper, probably to about four or five feet maybe, but looks like they maybe went to about three. I can still see the bottom pretty well, so that means the light's still getting there pretty well, but the steepness of the bank matters quite a lot um, because you want your water to get steep or get deep quickly so weeds don't grow as much. If you have a lot of shallow area, you have a lot of a lot more area for potential weed growth, which is what the area of this pond is. You can see the creek comes in right back there. It brings the uh, sediment in, and what they did is they just dug it out and oops, let's pan it this way. They used the dirt from the pond to fill up on the bank behind us here. All in all, it was a pretty nice job. up a nice, I don't know, little bass there. Decent for this pond. Um, lost my Bella's gill. It's the only lure I had with me. I'm gonna put him back. But yeah, that was that 5.8 Bella's gill again. On the, on the underspin, the owner underspin. Well, I can't say the underspin was really working. He picked it up kind of on the fall, or she. It's a nice little fish. <laughs> 